You're gonna be seeing the sweater quite a bit like in the next few videos. That's primarily because I'm too lazy to change. But it's a cozy sweater, so I'm okay with it. Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am here today for a book review. Today, I'm here to review Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. For many, many, many a year, I've been wanting to read Frankenstein. It's been on my TBR the past two years around Halloween and I never got to it. But this year, I rectified that and I started it on Halloween and I finished it. And I have to say, overall, I rather enjoyed it. So. Let's get into this review. Frankenstein and Mary Shelley follows our main protagonist of Victor Frankenstein. He's a young man who is fascinated by science and biology and chemistry and he decides to apply that and to see if he himself can create his own man. He discovers the secret to creating living flesh and he uses it to create his own man in his own image, thereby creating the infamous Frankenstein's monster. However, he immediately regrets his decision. He basically runs from this creature and this being that he created. But soon, strange things start beginning to happen to his loved ones. And he himself again encounters his monster and he is forced to listen to the monster's tale. So that's the short end of this story. It's not very long, so I don't want to get too into the actual plot because I don't want to spoil you. So I'll try and keep this spoiler free. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed Mary Shelley's writing. I liked her style. I liked her narration style. I also liked the mixture of having letters as well as actual story itself. It was definitely not what I was expecting when I went into it. You definitely, the story definitely starts not how you are expecting, but I rather enjoyed that. I like that it's pretty different from any movie version of this story I've ever seen. So I really enjoyed her writing and her narration style. The plot and the setting were both very atmospheric and they were done very well. It kind of had this creepy, dark, wintry vibe throughout the whole story. So definitely a perfect read for this time of year. The plot was very well developed and I think that she got a lot of her point across fairly well. I think it was a very interesting book. I think that you could almost look at the monster, Frankenstein's monster as a metaphor. I mean, I feel like she was really examining human nature and how our environment and our experiences really shape the people that we become. You kind of have this monster who is very much like a baby mentally. He has to start figuring things out for himself on his own. He has to learn how to speak and he has to kind of figure out who he really is. And he just wants to be loved and accepted by everybody around him. But he's soon spurned and hated and reviled by everybody he encounters. And that kind of turns him into a creature not necessarily of evil, but definitely a creature of anger and hate, and he uses that to lash out on people that he feel have wounded him. And I think that this is interesting, kind of looking at it in the perspective of how just human nature is in general. Mary Shelley was kind of showing that if you're by, sh by showing love and kindness to your fellow man, that they in turn will be more apt to show love and kindness to those around them and vice versa. You show hate and anger and rage and they too will lash out in the same fashion. I think that she was really more than anything kind of preaching understanding. All of us in many ways are the monster. We are afraid and we're uncertain about our future and what is going on. We're still learning because you still learn your entire life. And I think more than anything, we just want to be loved and understood. We want people to be kind and understanding of us and wh where we're coming from. And so I think in many ways, her monster is kind of an allegory for human humanity. I think deep down, that's really all anybody wants is to be loved and understood and when you don't get that, it does result in frustration. How people don't ever try to see your viewpoint or understand your viewpoint or see where you're coming from or change their own actions in regards to you. How I think she was really trying to show that we need to evaluate our own actions and not put how we act on another person because we are responsible for our own actions. All of the people that confronted the monster are responsible for how they reacted to him, not the monster himself. He hadn't done anything up to that point. He was just trying to have friendships with other people and nobody allowed him to have that chance. They made judgments upon his appearance and judgments upon how he talked and they never gave him an opportunity and they were responsible for their actions and how just little acts of kindness and understanding and not judging can go a long way. So I think that 
To me, that was a, what I really took away from this book more than anything, was just how our own actions can affect not only ourselves, but everybody else around us. But aside from that, I have to say that the actual character of Frankenstein, whose story we are hearing, he had to be one of the most frustrating characters. He was not at all taking responsibility for his actions, and it not only destroyed the life of the monster, but it destroyed the lives of his family and himself as well, because he was selfish, in my opinion, and he really did not try to help the monster in any way. This thing, this being that he created, he basically just threw out as trash. In many ways he was the monster's family and he rejected him and then he refused to take responsibility for his own actions. Instead, wallowing in self-pity and selfishness, I mean a lot of his story was very whiny and definitely self-serving in the way that he was telling it, trying to make himself out to be more the victim than the monster was because I definitely feel like his monster was more of the victim than Frankenstein. And so it was definitely a very interesting novel. It was very thought-provoking. It really, really makes you think and I highly recommend it for anybody who is wanting to check it out. It's a pretty fairly quick read and one that I find to be very enjoyable. So overall, I rated this book four out of five stars. I gave the plot four and a half out of five stars. I gave her writing four out of five stars. I gave her characters and the character development four out of five stars for an overall rating of four out of five stars. So it was definitely an enjoyable read, definitely a classic that I recommend everyone check out at some point in their lives, but it was, I'm glad I read it. I actually took quite a bit out of this novel than I thought I would at the beginning. All right guys, that's it for my review of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. You have to let me know if you read this book and what you thought of it. I'd love to know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and until next time, happy reading. Bye.